Welcome to another episode of Beyond Labs Prep. Okay, I want to walk through an activity with you on how to measure heat of fusion. So to start off, you'd grab a beaker, bring it out, bring it over by the balance, then you're going to go into the stock room and get one of the calorimeters. You can use either the, the standard doer or the coffee cup. If you double click that, it'll set it up. And then you're going to measure out some quantity of water, whatever quantity you use, you're going to want to use that in your calculations. And then get some water, pour it into the calorimeter, turn in on the thermometer, turn on the stir, you can start graphing. You're going to want to record that initial temperature of the water. Now you're going to grab a scoop of ice and you're going to then figure out how much that weighs. So you'll take your um, ice bucket, open it up, grab a scoop of ice, dump it into the beaker, come on over to the balance area and weigh that. So now that's the mass of the ice and the beaker. You're going to need to subtract that off eventually. And so then what you do is once you have your initial temperature of the water, then you just pour the ice into the coffee cup. You can go back, write down what the actual mass of the beaker was, do the math on how much ice you just added in. And then by watching this temperature drop, you'll be able to find the final temperature. You can accelerate time just to make it go a little bit faster. Then you'll get your final temperature that it gets to. And with that final temperature, you can find several different things in the lab. There we go. We got our final temperature and now the temperature is rising again. So there you go. That's how you need to get your calculations to be able to do a heat diffusion calculation. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and go to beyondlabs.com to download the entire suite of virtual labs.